on the babies see how they're doing rabbits are so cool you can see that the entrance to the burrow here has been completely covered up um, our mama Belle has um, covered it up to stop yeah, don't don't stand on that to stop the other little babies from going in and disturbing the nest but she's been such a good little mama this is her second litter unfortunately we lost the first one due to our dog that was special that was a long story we have a bit of a vlog on that we'll link that on the end but um anyway we have we have really really loved this colony style we have loved it yeah. for a lot of ways um mostly because i just struggle to see rabbits in cages. Sarah, not okay. I don't love having rabbits in cages and I have nothing against it, it's just a personal preference. So I've really enjoyed having a colony that rabbits can live more wild, more free. Um, we set up these bucket burrows, love it. Um, we've done it both in the ground and in the bucket. Um, we really, really love the buckets. I love the controlled scenario that I have. Um, we did have a problem. We've recently moved and built this colony. The last one was smaller. We never had any flooding issues in the last colony, but in this colony we have. And so that's why we raised everything up and um, remodeled. But this burrow, we didn't know that Belle had had her babies. <laughs> and so, um, we obviously left it alone. Um, the downs to having rabbits in the ground um, dug by mamas is you don't always know when they've kindled and you don't always know if they've had a litter. Belle is a rabbit that we raised. She was our first. And um, as you can see, she likes just to be pet and held and she's just- She's like the most friendly of the world. We love her and she loves us. And despite all the myths or I don't know if it's a myth, Despite the, the information that you shouldn't hold baby bunnies, we've never had a problem. Um, we've we've hand raised every litter we've had except for the last one. We didn't know mama had kindled and then we found what about three week old babies? Yeah. They're scared to death of us. They don't like us. Um, they're not used to being handled. And so having the bucket burrow systems, being able to handle the babies from day one, I feel is very important. Um, like I said, we've never, we haven't lost any babies. The moms haven't killed them. Um, it's just been, it's been awesome. So you get to enjoy the babies. You get, and then when it comes time to call, they're used to being handled and they don't freak out as much. It's, it's, it's just a more um, calm environment, so to speak. Yes, it's a hard thing to do. But um, anyway, so we're going to get into the burrow here and uh, check on our sweet babies. Okay, be gentle. So in our excitement yesterday, um, we didn't know they were in here. And so we were a little bit louder. We were a little bit less cautious as we usually are. Um, we, try to, we try to be good. But you know, we were excited. <laughs> 
I love, they're in the popcorn phase. You put your hand in and they just start jumping around. They stop popping. But oh my gosh. <laughs> so their eyes aren't quite open yet. But this is the stage where they like to pee on you. Mm. And when they're a little bigger, they pee. They all more. look a lot the same look color. So, so we have seven babies. And Mama is just doing a great job. And as you can see, she's right here next to us. She's not making any unpleasant noises. She doesn't seem in distress. She just seems good. So. Oh, it's got, it's got the alfalfa hairdo. Oh, she's too. licking it. It's got the alfalfa hairdo, Mom. <laughs> the alfalfa hairdo. Oh, from Little Rascals? Yeah. They all are very similar Hi, in color. Oh, that's so cute. You're such a good mama, honey. Oh, you're such a good mama. We try not we try not to waste any of the hair because that's pain. That's a mama's sacrifice for her babies. Look at her right now, mama. <laughs> they are so cute. And we try not to stay in the burrow too long. We try not we don't want to stress <laughs> out mama. It's digging in my hands. This is boogers. <laughs> Look at it. Like that one's black. That's what I was just hoping. Ah, it does have nose boogers. Huh. This one is digging. We'll have to my keep hands. an eye on that. I found Mr. Lincoln. Okay, let's put him back, guys. Hmm. Sweet baby. Okay. Aww. Come on, son. Put it back. Nice. Let mama take care of him. Come on. I don't want to upset Val. So we try to be respectful. We try to enjoy them. We try not to hold them as much. <laughs> like and they are so them. fun. That we just really love it. We love a colony. We're really happy with how it goes. I mean, there's a little more maintenance. There absolutely is. You have to watch for where they're digging. You have to you have to stop up their holes. Wait, and that's rips. kind of a problem we've been having is that. So life is just busy. And so we've had a problem keeping up on it. And that is one of the downs, as we have had boy escapees. Because the boys live over here. And so we have had boy escapees. And you know, that, that leads to who was bred, when were they bred. Um, this is Mr. Lincoln. He's a red. So soft. So it's been a learning adventure for sure. We've had rabbits for a little over a year now. We enjoy raising them for meat. We enjoy loving on them. Okay. You know, it's just, you know, and it's a work in progress. This colony is not exactly the way we want it yet, but we're working on it. We're getting there. And uh, we'd like to thank you for coming along today with us on this crazy adventure that we like to call homesteading. Give us that thumbs up and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. This is why we handle babies when they're tiny. Oh, we'll find out on the way. So let us just do my love. And I'll stop thinking of this over. Let us just do my love and see where. You know, I want to add some of the downs to colony life. Some of the downs to colony life would include that you can't use their poop as easily. They do pick one bathroom spot, but we have found with our large area that we need to clean up, huh Sam, that, you know, it's just harder to access their poop. You know, when you have them, when you have them in a cage, you know, you very easily can um, just use their poop. As they use it, you know, you just catch it underneath the, the thing. But, um, so it is a little bit harder to process the poop um, that, you, that is so good for your garden because it's, it's not hot, you can use it right away. But um, for us, they, you know, rabbits started out as an adventure that we weren't sure what we were doing with them. And so colony life made sense. We don't mind not having all of the benefits because we know we have happy, happy rabbits. And we've had um, less losses 
having it set up the correct way. So if there's anything I can say is before you get a new animal, make sure you're ready for them because we were not ready for the rabbits. But we're getting there a year later. You got babies in there? You're a weird looking rabbit. <laughs> <laughs>